Well, there's a lot of things going on with the state of Arizona and across the country right now. And Senator John McCain is here with Tara to talk about some of those items. Tara? Yeah, and I want to mention that the senator will be in Clifton at about 10.15 this morning out at the uh, Greenlee County Courthouse. He'll also be in Parker later today at about 1.15, then heading to Lake Havasu. Uh, but the senator was uh, kind enough to stop by our studios this morning. Good morning. It's always good to be back on Channel 3. Well, we appreciate you joining us. And I want to get to your visit to the border in just a minute. But let's start uh, yesterday. The big story, or one of the big stories, was the mm -hmm. death of a high-ranking al-Qaeda leader, I guess the mm -hmm. number three in charge. Um, the White House says this is a huge blow to the terrorist network. What do you think? Well, it is a huge blow, but one of the things we find out is that uh, these organizations are remarkably resilient. We've killed off leaders, and we should, don't get me wrong, but uh, others seem to emerge uh, uh, rather rapidly. Um, and so we've just got to keep it up, but it's certainly a, a good thing to have happened. That's Could I just mention yesterday's uh, issue of the boarding of those ships by the Israeli right. uh, and pe Israelis and people were killed? First of all, um, the Israelis offered to let those ships come into port and the cargo be examined, and if it was truly humanitarian, they would have let them move on. Se uh, second of all, this organization is tied to other t terrorist organizations. Third of all, uh, if, uh, if they're allowed to move whatever they want to into Gaza, Hamas, the people that run Gaza, have been attacking Israel, and they're dedicated to the extinction of the state of Israel. So uh, maybe this could have been handled better, but the fact is that if we were in a similar situation, say on one of our borders where a terrorist organization might be getting the ability to attack the United States, I think we would try to prevent that from happening as well. So our response to that, because I know a lot of different countries are saying mm -hmm. we need to come out strong against Israel, our response should be what? That uh, these organizations uh, are, are tied to terrorist organizations. I happen to believe that some of the European countries that are condemning Israel have a certain bias, uh, some of it driven by their economic ties to Middle Eastern countries. and. Uh, Look, we have not treated Israel well since this administration came in, and uh, we cannot abandon our best ally in the world, or certainly in the Middle East. Let's talk quickly about the uh, governor uh, visiting with the president supposedly tomorrow. What do you hope comes out of that meeting? Well, I hope that uh, that the gov I know that the governor will try to urge him to look at the law that was passed. The fact that it is the federal law is more stringent. The fact is that these boycotts are not only unnecessary, but the American people overwhelmingly are against the boycotts and uh, by the way I, I cannot imagine why people who live in Arizona would support a boycott which would harm Arizona, the people of Arizona including 30 percent of our population which is uh, Hispanic and I hope that um, she will I know she will urge him to get more assets to the border mm -hmm. 1200 is not enough we need 3000 in Arizona we need better surveillance we need to complete the fence I was just down there yesterday we need to complete the fence and we need more tr uh, border patrol down there in the meantime we need 3000 national guard down there and their surveillance capabilities are being restricted by a bunch of red tape and other bureaucratic problems the UAVs uh, the predators do very good work. And I know, again, I want to mention that that's one of the big issues you'll be discussing uh, a little bit later today, this morning, out in Clifton at the Greenlee County Courthouse, and again in Parker. Um, over the weekend, I had a chance to watch Game Six, as I know everybody else did. Um, do they warn you when they're going to take a picture of you and, and your wife? No. And, because you guys didn't look happy, and I know the sons were probably down at that point, but they don't give you any warning, do they? No, and I don't blame them for that. But people said, "Well, you looked unhappy." Well, I was unhappy <laughs> because we were losing. Did you expect me to smile? Oh, great, we're down. By 18, right. and know? I know you're a big And that foul they called on Amari was a turning uh. point when we were, when we were three points down and and surging there. But uh, look, I, it is what it is. I can assure those viewers the next time the Suns are beating the Lakers, they'll look at me and I'll and be, you'll very, be very, very happy, happy. with a big smile <laughs> on your face. Uh, exactly. Senator McCain, thanks for joining us again. The town hall meetings will be on our hotline as well, easyfamily.com.